things at the heart of the gospel of Jesus is the idea of transformation. People are changed. It's happened to countless millions as they have encountered Jesus. And it happens to us. Yet this personal change is not comfortable. The early disciples found it was no easier than we do. They meet this man, Jesus, and he calls them from a lot of different occupations and backgrounds to follow him. And as they do, they begin to encounter God. Well, not that they always recognise it. That in itself is not easy. For it means that they have to look at the world around them and sometimes find they are challenging the very traditions that have been part of their lives since they were children. The encounters are not always obvious, as they look for explanations and ideas that are within their normal experience. But often they don't find them there, and they have to look afresh at this person who's leading them along the dusty highways and byways. What is it about him that is transformative for them? Is it his personal charisma? For that is certainly there, as he speaks with people, both those who are in authority and those who are much more subject to it. Is it what they see him do, the healing, the miracles? Is it the challenge of his teaching, which so often they, they don't understand? Reading the Gospels, we get a sense of order and progress, but in fact, as the followers lived it, I suspect that this was just so much less cohesive, so much less ordered than appears in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Each of those writers brings a different perspective to the incidents and the people that are met. Sometimes the same story is told, but the emphasis is different as their perception of it is different. It is this weaving together into a narrative that begins to make sense of things, but the challenge of the actual event at the time still remains. As they journeyed with him in real time, so the evidence of who and what he is begins to unfold, and they are changed. They are transformed, not to a group of mindless conformists, but to people who know that God was with them on the journey they were taking. There were those who could not face the challenge of his teaching, and so they left, because they said it was too hard. Others clung on, believing that God was with them. It was one of those who came later to the events surrounding Jesus, Paul, who put it into words. He said that God was in Christ and was through him actively reconciling the world to himself. The disciples of the New Testament are transformed by their journey with Jesus, and countless generations since have also shared in that transformation. That is what we're sharing. We're sharing in the transformation that Jesus offers. Well, yes, I know it challenges. And there are times when it makes us feel uncomfortable, all of us. No, we don't have all the answers to all the questions, to all the challenges. We are in a similar position to those fishermen from Galilee, wandering the highways of their living, 
wondering from much of the time if they've got it right. And sometimes we're not sure what getting it right means in our contemporary world. Yet I believe that Jesus walked with us as he walks with them. It is he that asks us how we treat the poor and the rich. It is he who is with us as we wonder how we can bring justice to a war in Ukraine with all its destruction, pain and loss. It is he who is with us when we're faced with our friends, family and neighbours, even ourselves, having to face up to debilitating and sometimes terminal illness. Look for the transformational bits of your living. For the presence of Jesus has made a difference and we have a lot both to share and to praise him for. Lord, there are many times when we walk the road of living, feeling bemused, confused and insecure, yet we know you are with us. We have not found the easy answers to the questions, but we have found that your presence in our lives has opened up the pathway to the presence of your Father. Walk with us, Lord, day by day, as we seek to refresh the transformation that you bring and explore it in the kingdom of your world with our friends, family and neighbours. Amen. <music>